Okay. Okay. I... Hmm. I have to make a video to show the world the travesty that is driving in Watch Dogs. Now, I don't want anybody to think that I that I'm under the impression that this is a bad game. It's a good game, you know, and it's a game with a lot going on. And I always say about games that have a lot going on that, you know, you can excuse if, ah, you can excuse if, you know, some, some certain features of the game maybe aren't as polished, you know, as, as, as you might find in a game that only has one one, uh, whoa, only has one, uh, thing, you know, only one purpose. Like, you know, obviously, the driving in Forza is gonna be a little better than the driving in, you know, GTA, even. I mean, we, we can expect this out, because, you know, when, you're, when you've got a whole city to take care of, you can't just focus on the driving. Wow. Wow. You know? But... This game? I would say driving in this game is somewhere in between Lego Marvel Super Heroes and the game they give you when you buy a car from a Mazda dealership. I... I... I'm at a loss for why... The, be the best part, I mean, because, you know, there is the oversensitivity of the, of the controls. There's, there's that, you know? And that's, that's really something. But... That pales in comparison to the sudden jerks that you get just out of nowhere. It's kind of like driving. I mean, it's let's it's, let's face it. It's it's like driving on Xanax. It's like driving on Xanax and maybe half a bottle of Arbor Mist. You stayed at the party longer than you should have, but you want to get home, so you say screw it. You know? What's a couple bums in my fenders? I want to sleep in my own bed. I actually have a theory that uh, the main character, Aiden, uh, he's so distraught over the death of his niece that he, you know, he takes some Xanax. I mean, he could have prescribed it. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, you know, that's that's probably the, what the developers were going for. They said, how can we make a game that simulates perfectly what it would be like to drive if you were a tortured hacker in a dystopian future present? If that was what they were going for, fucking nailed it. Nailed it. Another charming feature of driving this game is that there's parts of the environment that are that are uh, that that are fused to the ground with I don't know dark matter or you know uh, uh, adamantium maybe I don't even you guys are probably going man he's not using the e-brake he's complaining about driving this game but he's not using the e-brake that's because the e-brake the e-brake does more harm than good. And I'll demonstrate that in a moment. And yes, I also know you can freeze time, but that doesn't do anything either. I'll demonstrate both those things, actually, on this run. Those, there's plenty of times for me to uh, 
demonstrate things because because I've done this I don't know I, I'm, I'm gonna guess a thousand this is probably the thousand eleven time and I'll tell you what it's the last time no matter what happens that's for sure I think I'm deciding very quickly that if I'm going to play this game and enjoy it I'm gonna steer away stay away from anything with a with a steering uh, wheel on it. Oh, I was going to use the e-brake to show you. I guess I'll do that on this turn. Yeah, I can change the light. Woo, gimmicks! Yeah, that, I did not use the e-brake. You would have thought I used the e-brake. That was some e-brake there. There was a little bit of e-brake there. And if you start to lose control of your car, forget it. Oh yeah, and I lo especially love the developers. Um, you always know things are going well when there's uh, an enormous blue dumpster in the woods. Yeah, that's that's not there because it looks good. That's there because it's desperately trying to keep you from careening into the lake. I'm sure once they had to buy the game testers new TVs, they decided that maybe they should put something there. And... Yeah, there's a lot of dumpsters in this game, you know. Just cut and paste a couple right there, everything's fine. It's all fine. Yeah. That was helpful. That was helpful. Oh. Oh, I was actually doing all right. Oh. This is Dark Souls level of frustration without the level the 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 release of achievement. And you know Dark Souls is difficult because it's designed to be that way. I actually think this is supposed to be an easy mission. That's that's the humorous part. I actually want to drive in a straight line with with the gas fully depressed, just to show you. I'm not I'm not gonna touch I'm not gonna touch the directional pad. Okay, guys, are you ready? I'm not gonna touch it. Let me get straight. I'm not gonna touch it. If I can get it to do it, because it's, it's spectacular when it does. Just the violent jerks to the left or the right. It's just that when once you get off course, there's just no way to get back on. And yep, there you go. There's something welded to the ground. Water fountains from, from Hades. Yeah. Alright, I'm off to play a mission that maybe is somewhat fulfilling. Yeah.